Today, we are going to distill out our weeded bourbon. Uh, but one thing we're going to try to do to keep, we're going to distill it out, but we're going to kind of concentrate on the cuts. Uh, I'm going to get some questions on how I make my cuts. So, I figured this is a perfect opportunity. So, we're going to distill it. Like I said, we're going to distill out our weeded bourbon, and then we're going to show you how we make our cuts. Okay, my pot temperature just went past, I think about 160. Uh, I started getting a few droops, uh, droops, a few drips here. Now you remember, the methanol and stuff's gonna come on, it's gonna start, it's boiling point is about 145. So it's starting to fill the column up, and it's coming out a little bit. If you smell this really pungent smell, okay, real pungent. And if you feel the column, she's starting to get hot. Okay, so I gotta get the heat right about there. So I'm gonna have to start getting ready to cut back the heat because uh, I don't want her to puke on me. Uh, head temperature, it might have climbed a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so, but if you keep feeling your column, she's coming up. Okay, so. Here's our, our first cut is going to be our four shots and heads, okay? Okay, my head temperature is shot up to 180. Uh, she's doing a, a nice 
drip here. I'm putting about about three amps into the pot. I'll turn her up just a little bit here. Okay, so what I'm going to do for my first cut, uh, basically this is a grain mash. You're looking like you're going to have about two ounces of methanol and other stuff, other junk that we don't want, okay? And so what we're going to do is, after that, if you double that, that should be your heads. So you're going to have two ounces of methanol and other junk and then so we'll collect four ounces out after that and that should be our heads and then uh, so the very first six ounces we're going to put it in our cleaning jar um, or fire starter or whatever you want to call it uh, so after this we'll get our parrot set up and we're going to start collecting all the good stuff okay okay so we got our our four shots and heads, we collected six ounces for that. Uh, we put our parrot in, uh, we filled it up. She's coming off at about 158 or so. All right, uh, so this is gonna be our first jar. Now what we'll do this time is I'm gonna collect a half a jar, okay, for the first two. And then if everything's uh, going right, then I'll move, I'll, I'll start filling these uh, pint jars up. I mean, the smell is, it, it just tastes, you can really smell the alcohol. Mm, it smells good. And you can really taste the, uh, if it tastes good, I'm gonna use it, but anyway. Let's uh, let this run for a while. We'll keep an eye on it. And then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, just to let you know where we're at. Uh, I've collected, let's see, one, two and a half quarts. And it's ranging 155, 150, 145, down to here's 105 all right so now what I'm gonna switch down to because I'm I, I'm at right now I'm at a hundred proof so I'm gonna switch and collect start collecting half jars and once I get down just a little bit more then I'm gonna shut it down okay but now taste wise it tastes fine. It smells fine. Okay, but I just got a funny feeling my proofs are starting to drop. And like I said, I am at 100 proof right now. So I'm about done. So I'll probably collect this half a jar. I feel that I'm starting to get into my tails now, or, or I will very, very shortly. Uh, much under 100 proof, uh, I'll stop collecting. But anyway, I'll collect two half jars probably, and that'll be it. Okay, and then we'll be Okay, uh, my head temperature's about 200. That's a, usually a sign to me that I'm about done. Uh, we're running like at 90 proof coming off there now uh, she's starting to drop off pretty sharp so i think that's where i'm gonna call it okay so we're gonna mark this last one at 90. okay and so what our plans are what our plans are is, uh, I'm gonna put a cover on these. And I just like to use a, like a paper towel. A lot of people use coffee filters. Anything, it's mainly to keep anything from falling in, bugs get in or whatever the case may be. So I'm gonna cover these up and let them breathe till tomorrow. And then what we'll do, we'll come back. We're going to do some tasting. We'll decide what we want to keep. 
and what we want to get rid of. Uh, okay, so we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, just to let you know where we're at, uh, I've collected, let's see, one, two and a half quarts, and it's ranging 155, 150, 145, down to, here's 105. All right, so now what I'm gonna switch down to, because I'm, I, I'm at, Right now I'm at 100 proof. So I'm gonna switch and collect, start collecting half jars. And once I get down just a little bit more then I'm gonna shut it down. Okay, but now taste wise, it tastes fine. It smells fine. Okay, but I just got a funny feeling my proofs are starting to drop. And, like I said, I am at 100 proof right now. So I'm about done. So I'll probably collect this half a jar. I feel that I'm starting to get into my tails now, or, or I will very, very shortly. Uh, much under 100 proof. Uh, I'll stop collecting. But anyway, I'll collect two half jars probably, and that'll be it. Okay, and then we'll be back. Okay, just to let you know where we're at, uh, I've collected Let's see, one, two and a half quarts, and it's ranging 155, 150, 145, down to, here's 105. All right, so now what I'm gonna switch down to, because I'm, I, I'm at, right now I'm at 100, Proof. So I'm gonna switch and collect, start collecting half jars. And once I get down just a little bit more, then I'm gonna shut it down. Okay, but now taste wise, it tastes fine. It smells fine. Okay, but I just got a funny feeling my proofs are starting to drop and like I said, I am at 100 proof right now. So I'm about done. So I'll probably collect this half a jar. I feel that I'm starting to get into my tails now, or, or I will very, very shortly. Uh, much under 100 proof, uh, I'll stop collecting. But anyway, I'll collect two half jars probably. And that'll be it. Okay, and then we'll be back. Okay, uh, my head temperature is about 200. That's a usually a sign to me that I'm about done. Uh, we're running like at 90 proof coming off there now. Uh, she's starting to drop off pretty sharp. So I think that's where I'm gonna call it. Okay, so we're gonna mark this last one at 90. Okay, so what our plans are, 
what our plans are is uh, I'm gonna put a cover on these and I just like to use a, like a paper towel a lot of people use coffee filters anything it's mainly to keep anything from falling in bugs get in or whatever the case may be so I'm gonna cover these up and let them breathe till tomorrow and then what we'll do we'll come back we're gonna do some tasting we'll decide what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of uh, okay so we'll see you tomorrow Okay, uh, my head temperature is about 200. That's a, usually a sign to me that I'm about done. Uh, we're running like at 90 proof coming off there now. Uh, she's starting to drop off pretty sharp. So I think that's where I'm gonna call it. Okay, so we're gonna mark this last one at 90. okay and so what our plans are what our plans are is uh, I'm gonna put a cover on these and I just like to use a, like a paper towel a lot of people use coffee filters anything it's mainly to keep anything from falling in bugs get in or whatever the case may be so I'm gonna cover these up and let them breathe till tomorrow and then what we'll do we'll come back we're gonna do some tasting we'll decide what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of uh, okay so we'll see you tomorrow okay so it's been 24 hours it's time to check this stuff out all right let me get them uncovered here okay so like i said i got them all uncovered here we're going to uh, try to give them all a little bit of taste so like I said before we started out this is our very first jar at 155 and then we ended up with our last jar at 90 okay so what I want to do is I want to taste and we're going to decide the, what we want to keep and what we don't but I suspect uh, the two on the end might have to go away uh, so we'll here start here in the middle and find out okay so this one is number five it's at 120 very good tasting i mean it smells um there's no off flavors on the smell or it tastes fantastic all right let's move on down one tastes the same as number five so that's a good keeper okay here's number three uh, number three is at 145 Oop. get a little stronger but like I said the smell is good
very clean smelling. And taste is there. Now here's gonna be my question one, but I think it might be pretty good. Now that has a different taste to it. Smells good, but I can't place the flavor. I mean, it's a little hot. I'm not sure about that. Let's go on down the other way. So here's number six. It's nice and clean smelling, tastes good. Hey, you know what, if it tastes good, I'm gonna use it. Now here's where I usually are very cautious because um, if you get into your tails, it, it will turn your dislet cloudy. All right, number eight. I mean, if there's something there, may, I think I'm gonna leave that one out. But I wanna try this. Uh, Now mix that one half water and a half dislip. Calmed it down, that tastes good. So well, I think I'm gonna use everything except for number eight there. I think that added great flavor. Okay, so what we wanna do next, or we decided we did not want number eight, is we're gonna mix everything together in my mixing jar here. Okay, so we got all our dislet mixed together. So now what I want to do is I want to check and see what uh, we'll see what our proof ended up being. And it looks like, quit bobbling around. Our final is about 140. So what I wanna do, and I know I like to do this the old school way. I know they got calculators out there. A little bit too much. Let's see what we got now.
we are 120. One more bottle of water, I think we have will have it. Okay, let's see what we got now. All right, we're at 100, and that, that's where I'm going to leave it. I wanted this. That's where I wanted it, where I wanted it, 100. Uh, got to taste it. Oh, that's going to be good. It's going to be smooth. I think the weed in that is fantastic. Woo! Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, we got proof down to 100, is I'm going to put about two ounces of wood, toasted oak in that, uh, turn my scale on. I like two ounces per gallon. Okay, so there's two ounces. We'll put that in there. And the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll let this uh, age on that oat. But it probably, usually it takes one to two weeks to the color that I like. And that usually seems to be the right amount. And then uh, we'll put it in a bottle. It'd be ready to drink. So, this will be interesting. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed this. This is uh, one of, I've been looking forward to doing this uh, weedy bourbon. Uh, so, we'll get back to you and we'll do a tasting after a while. And, and I'll let you know how it really turned out. Okay. One left thing to say. Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Stellworks and Brewing. Cheers, everybody.